I have a lot of favorite drummers, but there's only a few that I would consider my heroes. These are guys that I feel have had the most significant and the biggest impact on my playing to this day. So I was pretty excited to, uh, to start this series and because I get a little passionate when I talk about my personal favorite drummers and stuff, like I get a little amped up because I get excited about introducing things and people to, um, to people that may have never heard of these things. So this is the first of a short series of videos called Heroes. And um, I just want to point out, man, because I know drummers are really sensitive about their favorite drummers. This is not a sort of profile or a top 10 or top 20 series of, uh, of videos. These are my personal influences, my personal heroes. So don't get offended, all right? I can tell you right now, you're not gonna see Neil Peart on here. You're not gonna see John Bonham. You're not gonna see Ringo Starr. And you're not gonna see Ringo Starr. It's not that I don't think they're great drummers. They're just not my influences. Those aren't dudes that I listened to when, uh, when I was learning. I was listening to a different bunch of dudes, right? So that's the point behind these videos is to introduce all you guys to, uh, to drummers that you may never heard of that I think if you got into them might add a little bit of spice to your playing. One of my favorite bands from the 80s was a band called Big Country. Big Country was a Scottish band, four-piece band, and I was really, really into these guys, even before I picked up a pair of sticks. But they were a pretty big band, and I remember the one thing that everybody thought was the coolest thing about this band is how they got their guitars to sound like bagpipes. The drummer for Big Country was a guy named Mark Berzizicki. I think I'm saying that right. I was never 100% sure about how to say his last name. But he was a very creative drummer in terms of, you know, just stuff that he came up with. Everything that you heard me playing off the top, direct rip from, um, from Mark's parts off of some Big Country tunes, a couple of my favorite ones. And um, yeah, man, so I just want to sort of introduce you guys to Mark and his playing. Look him up. Um, as far as recommended listening, check out, like when you finish watching this video, jump over to iTunes or, you know, try to pop it up here on, on YouTube. But there's, there's an album called Steel Town. Steel Town, in my opinion, is Big Country's best album ever. The playing on that record is phenomenal from front to back. I remember I used to um, sit in the basement. It was just me on sitting on two milk crates. I was 16 maybe, 16 or 17. Sat on two milk crates and I had an imaginary drum kit in front of me and I would put that album on and I would air drum to it front to back. No joke, man. From the first song to the last song in the album, I would play through the whole thing 
just kind of air drumming to it. And that actually played a, a large part in me learning how to play. So, um, yeah, man, I used to sit down and just sort of air drum to, to these big country tunes and learn all the licks and stuff. By the time I got my first kit, I was excited because I actually got the opportunity to physically sit down and, and um, try to play this stuff. But Mark was an incredibly gifted, solid, technical drummer. And he's just another one of those dudes that just kind of helped make that band stand out. I mean, the parts that he came up with were just nuts. So when you're done watching this video, check that out, man. Go to iTunes and, and look at the Steel Town um, record. If it's on there, if it's not, you're probably able to find it online somewhere. Um, but just check out the drumming on that record, man. Like, there's so many things that I lifted from that album alone, things that I still use to this day. Because one of the, one of the criteria um, for putting this list of drummers together was I wanted to sort of think of drummers that I used to listen to that I still rip off to this day, like 30 years later, I'm still referencing to these guys and, um, and I'm always just kind of copying and, and, and referencing a lot of uh, Mark's licks, many of which are on that album. So if there's any viewers out there in Scotland, anybody that knows a friend of a third cousin of a brother of Mark somehow, um, if you run into him, man, and you've seen this, let him know. There's a drummer in Canada that thinks he's the best. And, uh, you know, if the universe ever allows you to see this video, Mark, if you're watching, thanks for everything, man. You've been one of the biggest influences um, in my playing, and I can only hope that I can get other dudes to uh, start paying you some attention. Well-deserved, man. So, yeah, check them out, man. Big Country, Mark vs. Zicky. I think you're really going to dig them. Thanks for watching this video. We'll be back with another one of these in, a, in another couple of weeks. And I'll introduce you guys to another favorite drummer of mine. And that's about it, man. Like, subscribe. See you next video.